What's good guys, so I just finally got stopped out of my Euro USD short. As you know, uh, the, play, the play of the week is um, short Euro because the Euro has been just very bearish, uh, I'm, I'm sure across most pairs but uh, I was focusing on the Euro USD because uh, we identified there was a bearish flag. So I know this is a trading journal but for educational purposes I want to go through with you um, how to trade a flag and uh, possible targets and stuff like that. So. Um, if you look at the chart, you can say that this is a flag because we have a pole right here. This is what you call the bearish pole. And we basically have a channel right here. It's uh, it's not that huge. Our price just reacted a bit with this um, channel, which is what you call the flag. You have the resistance at the top of the flag and the support at uh, the bottom. So, um, price came into that flag before breaking out. And uh, I, I mentioned previously that I entered around here before price just consolidated for a bit. Price consolidated for about, let me see how long that was, that was about for about half a day, for about 12-13 hours before making a push down um, past the uh, the support of the uh, of the flag and as you can see price broke down, pushed back up to retest, retest that flag area right here before continuing its way down and now you can see that price has been really really bearish and um, I had my, I actually had an open, open take profit. I was just uh, looking to see where this, uh, this bearish, bearish move could run to. So I was looking for a potential, maybe a few hundred pips. But um, as you can see, price came down all the way here for about, uh, I think it was about 50 pips. Price came down for about 50 pips, yeah. But and I, at around this point, this green line right here, I uh, actually took out half of my position. Uh, at about 36 pips, I took out half of my position, so I locked in a, I locked in a 36 profits. That is a confirmed 36 uh, pips of profit, and uh, you know I just uh, trailed my stops and see where where price could bring me to. So um, after I took out half my position, price continued its way down before coming back up, and this is where I had my stop loss. Um, as you can see, the reason why I set my stop loss here is because this was our recent high right here. This was a recent high, so I was expecting price to maybe make lower highs and possibly not touch my stop loss. But as you can see, this candle spiked up a bit before stopping me out um, for about 22 pips. Um, from the start of my order all the way up to all the way below here is about 22 pips. So 36 plus 22, I would say I made about 50, 58 pips. It's a decent trade, I guess. I'm, I'm still looking to get short in this, but uh, I'm not sure when price is... Um, Price isn't overbought yet. Uh, it's in the middle of the RSI, so potentially I could wait for a while before, before entering at a better price. Maybe if we can see a retest of this channel right here. A bit far fetched, you know. But if price, if I can see a retest of this area, then I could potentially enter a short position again. So this was my Euro USD trade. This is how you trade a flag pattern. It's not, it's not the best pattern, but um. I, I think in our previous videos we showed you I think on a pound dollar previously there was a really good flag pattern that that broke out of it so that's possibly something that we can um, that you wanna you might wanna employ in your trading in the future so um, in conclusion this was about 58 pips of profit um, I might get in another short position but we'll see how that goes thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video